Okay, so let's say you are nearsighted, okay? If you are nearsighted, then you can see things that are near, which means if this is my eyeball, I can see things that are near. And if this object is near, then the rays coming from the object are diverging. And the power of my lens means I can focus those back to a point on the back of my retina with no problem, okay? This is nearsighted. I can see things close. The rays from that are diverging. But you want to be able to see things at distance, okay? And so at distance, the rays that are coming in are very close to parallel. And you can't focus those to the right spot, either because your eyeball is a different size than normal or the focusing power of your cornea is different, okay? So all we have to do is take parallel rays from this object and make them diverge. And we know how to do that, right? We use a diverging lens. And when those parallel rays come into this diverging lens, they're going to diverge. And if they diverge the same amount as we had up there, everything's gonna come back together at the retina, it'll be in focus. So, for nearsighted, you add a diverging or negative lens. Okay, that's how you fix nearsightedness. But what about farsighted? If you are farsighted, then you're looking at parallel rays coming in from a distant object. Here is your eyeball. And if you're farsighted, then they don't quite get to a focus right where they should be. Okay, So we need to get that focus in a little closer. And the way we get it in closer is we add a converging lens. And remember, converging is positive. Okay. And so parallel rays that come in, we want them to focus on the retina. And so we add a positive lens right there. And that starts to get these rays to bend in a little bit. And now they can come to a focus right on the retina. So, you automatically know if you are nearsighted or farsighted just by looking at your lenses. Okay, so here, these are my reading glasses. Okay, when you get old like me, you get reading glasses. And these have a positive value. They are converging, which means I am farsighted. I can see things at far just fine. But when I try to read things close without glasses, then it's hard to read, okay? And so I need a converging lens. Now, how do you know this is converging versus diverging? Well, first off, if you look through them, at some point, the outside world should get very big as I move this away from my eyeballs. And if you look at that camera, right, if I'm looking at the camera, my eyeballs should look a little big to you. Do the eyeballs look a little big to you? And especially if I pull them out a little bit, let's try this. I'm trying to do it without getting shadow all over the place. Okay. This eye should look big to you guys on the computer monitor. Okay, that's how you know it's a positive lens. If it's a negative lens, the outside world will always look smaller. Okay, and when you look at a friend and you do this, your eyeball will always look smaller if it's a negative lens. 
Okay, so this is a converging lens. The other would be a diverging lens. Now there's other things that you can figure out here. One is there is a little bit of astigmatism, which means it's not a spherical lens. There's actually a little bit of cylindrical shape to it. And the way you can tell that with somebody's glasses is if you look through it and you rotate it, and the image goes from squished this way to squished this way, that's astigmatism. And if you look at my glasses, my left eye is more astigmatic than my right eye. So when I rotate this, the image in the right one doesn't get as distorted as the one in the left one. And when I look out at you guys, you become very distorted in that left lens. The other thing to know about nearsighted versus, or nearsighted versus farsighted is a positive lens means you can focus light down to a point. Okay? So if you are out in the sunshine and you're trying to focus light to a point on a piece of paper because you're trying to start a fire because you're on a desert island, you had better hope that the person's glasses you're using, they're farsighted, positive lens, so you can focus that sunlight to a point. If they're nearsighted, it's never going to help you start a fire. Sunlight that comes through there diverges everywhere.